That means that the Seahawks are going 5-12 and 12 in the 2022 NFL season. Today we're going to be seeing whether or not the Seahawks are going to suck this year and we're going to be predicting their record by going through each individual week and determining whether or not they're going to win or lose each game and with Drew Locke at the helm, the future's not looking too bright for the Seahawks, I'll tell you that. First up we have the Broncos going against their former teammate Russell Wilson. I think Russell Wilson has something to prove towards the fan base of the Broncos, even against his former team week one, which is kind of crazy. And he's going to absolutely unleash the pain. I think they're going to dominate the Seahawks without a doubt. I think that defense of the Broncos is insane. And I think Russell Wilson's ready to throw so many touchdowns to not only Jerry Judy, but also, also Cortland Sutton. So that's an easy dub for the Broncos, which means that's an easy L for the Seahawks. Then we have the 49ers who have Nick Bosa, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Gill, and Jimmy G and Elijah Mitchell, all amazing players. And I'm gonna be honest, the Seahawks have zero chance against the 49ers. They're officially 0 and 2 on the season. Or I, I guess 0 and 2 on the season. Whichever, whichever one looks right in the camera. Then we're going to go with the Falcons game in week three. <sighs> That's pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest. I'm determining whether or not the Seahawks are gonna beat the Falcons. It used to never be a debate. Seahawks all the way. But now, it's going to come down whether or not Mariota is good. Whether or not Desmond Ritter comes in. Or whether or not Drew Locke performs. Again, this is one of those coin tosses where it's like this: the Falcons could win, the Seahawks could win. But, I think... Oh, I feel really bad for the Seahawks. But I... Ah, you know what? You know what? I believe in Drew Locke. I believe in Drew Locke. They're going to win against the Falcons. I'm saying it right now. Lock it in. They're officially 1-2 on the season. Next, against the Lions. Oof. I think the Lions are going to tank. But this is a game the Lions are going to win be straight from flukes. I think that um, their corners are going to do amazing. I think DeAndre Swift actually comes into um, his own this season. Absolutely dominates the Seahawks. And the Seahawks lose their third game of the season. Then we have the almost as bad saints because their qb room is so so bad they might not have a better qb than drew lock and i think drew lock does come up with the win with dk metcalf and chris carson and if i'm not mistaken quick review of the halfback from michigan for the seahawks it's so i looked it up apparently it's kenneth walker and i think kenneth walker is going to do absolutely amazing against the saints and the Seahawks take their second dub of the year. And then you go back-to-back -back games against the Cardinals and the Chargers. And I don't even have to explain that. The Cardinals are going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I believe the Cardinals get DeAndre Hopkins back after week six. So that if they lose against the Cardinals already, oof, week nine's not looking too good either. But they take L's against the Cardinals. They take L's against the Chargers. And then they go against the Giants. And the Giants have literally just an overpaid wide receiver room. And a half healthy Saquon Barkley. Let's be honest. The Giants wasted Saquon Barkley. And the Giants suck. And thus, Drew Locke comes away with the dub again. So now his record is a solid in week eight, a solid three out of five. And then it becomes three and six against the Cardinals because they get D Hop back. Pretty simple. And then in week ten they go against the Bucks. Now Tom Brady does not have Gronk, but that don't matter because he is a 6'5", 245 wide receiver by Evans, who is just going to bomb over the top of the Seahawks and just dominate. I think that game is going to be like a 28 to. <laughs> I want to say 28 to 3, but who knows? That might be a comeback score right there. So, we're going to go with 28 to 10 for that game. Seahawks take another L on the season. Then they go into their bye week. They're like, okay, guys, we got to warm up. We got to be like, okay, it's fine. We've only won three out of our 10 games so far. It's a pretty bad record. Not going to lie. Pretty, pretty bad. So, obviously, we're looking for a new QB next season. Fingers crossed. And then you go against the Raiders and then the Rams. Oh, dude. <laughs> I feel so bad. Their schedule is so hard. Like, so hard. I feel so bad. Because everyone's going to hate me for this. Right? 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 
But they take L's against the Raiders because they have Devontae Adams and that insane wide receiver, tight end, running back core along with Derek Carr. Then they lose against the Rams, who not only have Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, but also like one of the best offensive cores in a, in a long time with Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford, and Allen Robinson. P.S. I'm a Bears fan, so Allen Robinson, fingers crossed, hope he does well. And now, <laughs> and now it looks like they are three and nine on the season. And then he goes against the Panthers, a franchise who's more poverty than the Seahawks themselves. So you know what? You, you know what? You know what? I'm going to give a dub to the Seahawks here because I don't think the Broncos, I'm sorry, not the Broncos, the Panthers have a better QB than Baker Mayfield. And I'm sorry to say this, ex-Brown fans or new Panthers fans or whatever, any Baker Mayfield fans, he's not good. He's not good no more. And I feel bad for saying that because I actually like them at OU. But you know, he's pretty bad at Seahawks score. Take that dub. So now they're four and nine. Are they four and nine on the season? That's kind of pathetic for an NFL team. I feel so bad. Then again, there's teams who went 0-16, so I can't say it's that bad. You know what I mean? Like they're 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 not complete poverty. They, they won three three games now. I think that's their fourth game this season, so they're now four and nine. That's it, that's pretty good, I guess. And then they go against God, God. <laughs> they go against the 49ers, the Chiefs, the Jets, and the Rams. Now let's break this down just really quick. I think this might be one of our shortest videos we've done on the channel for this series. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to say they win against the 49ers, being very optimistic. And then they go against the Chiefs, and whew, yeah, no, nope, that's not even close. That I think Travis Kelsey and Mahomes could do that on their own, even playing defense. Like that, oh, yeah, no, that's going to be a blowout. I feel bad. And then the Jets. Now, the Jets are one of those teams that are going to be like a 50-50 coin toss this year, whether or not the draft picks are going to pan out. But I really like Sauce Gardner. I really like Brees Hall. I really like the, all the additions they made to their team this year. And I think the Jets are going to be half decent, at least going 9-8 and eight minimum, I think, this year. I think the Jets are going to be really, really good. I think Zach Wilson is going to um, actually be pretty good as well. And I think that they're going to lose again to the Jets. Um, and then they go against these reigning Super Bowl champions. What? The, dude, wait, what? They go against the Cardinals twice. The 49ers twice, the Rams twice. Oh, their division's just so, it's so hard. I feel so bad. <laughs> they take another L against the reigning Super Bowl champs. That's not even a question. Seahawks, maybe DK Metcalf does good. And maybe I'm lowballing. Maybe the Seahawks just dominate this year, but I don't think so. So yeah, that means that the Seahawks are going five and 12 in the 2022 NFL season. And if you guys want me to do your favorite NFL team, in the next episode, feel free to leave that team name down below in the comments because Drew here commented and now we're doing the Seahawks, which is pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you guys want to see more of the prediction videos for other NFL teams, the playlist is going to be right here or here or whichever way the screen points. It's like I think it's over here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, there's a thing down below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you all. And I'll catch you guys next time. Love you. Peace.